All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. My name is Chandler, better known as Law T, and on today's episode, we're all about the scoring sensation of Darius. Golasso! Yes, in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how and why to be using Darius in this series of Frag Pro Shooter. I'm going to tell you my recommended implants. I'm going to tell you his best map. I'm going to recommend a team for you to use him in. And of course, we're going to talk about how good his AI is. We are well on our way to 500 subscribers. So thank you everyone who is supporting the channel. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel so we can do that 500 subscriber giveaway. But let's get into today's episode so we can see the scoring sensation in action. My name is Lord T. Here is my cup of tea. And this is Darius. The scoring sensation of Darius is a common center card. At level 10, Darius has a massive 514 HP. He does an average of 120 damage per second. His speed is 11.6 kilometers per hour and his firing speed is 7.8 kilometers per hour. Having a ammo magazine size of 10, his reload time only takes 1.6 seconds. He has a big fire rate of 110, range of 45 meters, and it's a radius of 2.5. I mean, even reading this out now makes me just want to keep using Darius. And of course, being English, I love football. And when I saw Darius, I was completely intrigued by his character design. But what got me most excited about Darius was his special of MVP Flash Tackle. Now this ability has a 9 second cooldown time, a 1.1 second duration, 12 meter range and does 176.8 base damage. But the big damage, short cooldown time and the 12 meter range is not the reason that this ability is incredible. This ability was game changing for the reason being if he frags someone after they have been hit by this ability they'll take an extra 5 seconds to respawn. Now you're probably thinking, well, Lord T, five seconds isn't that much. I'm here to tell you in frag, that's a freaking huge amount of time. Because like your legendary and your epic cards, I mean, actually forget that. Whatever the card, whether it's common, rare, epic or legendary, it has a time to respawn, right? So you're there planning, counting in your head your seconds for your card to respawn. But it's been hit by Darius and it gets fragged. It's going to take an extra five seconds. That can change someone's strategy completely. That can ruin the game for them. I mean, you see all these players were like just having the purple cards in their deck. I long, I love for players like that because if you're using Darius, as you can see here on the screen, it pretty much scrambles and ruins the flow of their gameplay, which is allowing me just to get such a, just such an easy win. Darius is literally so good, he does well on any map, but you want to keep him close to the edges or of course in the pit, right on in the middle, because he has that ability just to get that little push effect on them, push them off the side, push them down the middle. I mean, he's just damn right amazing. So any map and any game mode, but I have noticed that I was able to get a lot more frags and I saw a lot more use of the ability impact my game for me to win in street frag. That five seconds in street frag, it's a big amount of time to give you that huge advantage and, and, and so many players don't realise this. But what players do realise is that implants just made Darius even more incredible. The four that I've got is maximising Darius and basically just letting him cause havoc to win the games, alright? Reduce damage, slow effect, fire effect, my favourite by the way in case anyone wanted to know, and respawn time. Darius already has huge amount of HP, you could increase it, or what works out better for keeping his sustainability and longevity on the field is to reduce that damage, alright? That's definitely one of the best implants you can give Darius. Slow effect then is your next one, and basically that of course slows the opponent down, but it gives them less opportunity to run away from Darius so you can hit them in with the MVP flash tackle special. It means that they're marked and they're going to be taking an extra 5 seconds to respawn. Fire effect, well we like damage and with Darius doing 120 damage average per second, 45% of that is is a big 50 at least on top of there. I mean that's 170 damage per second, your, your opponent's getting fragged very very quickly with Darius. And then of course respawn time. For whatever reason, if Darius has been fragged, we want him to come back into the game straight away, cause this havoc, cause this nuisance to get us wins in frag. 
And the downside? Well, there isn't one, but being honest about Darius's AI, it's it's a 7 out of 10 again. And you'll find that this is common with, with, with a lot of AIs, in fact. I mean, the accuracy for the ability is good, but of course the AI doesn't use it as well as a player who's been practicing and using Darius reg religiously. And the other thing as well, Darius suffers from the AI syndrome of basically once it's picked an opponent or picked a card, it's just locked onto them, it just chases them. The, the, the AI cannot lose you the game from this point, but it can lose massive momentum if you're winning or you're, you've got a neck and neck tie in your man. But of course, you're watching this video because you want to use Darius, and you're also watching this video because you're like, hey, Lord T, I want to know a deck to use with Darius himself. So let's go into a quirky bunch of misfits for this deck, all right? I've picked Mimi as the defense card. Now, I've only just recently started using Mimi because there is a player that nearly nearly had me raging at the way that they played and it was just something that I was like do you know what we need to show this in the video right Mimi has a 60 meter weapon range all right but it's her special ability a real fake wall yes the the, the naming a real fake wall anyway let's get to it basically this blocks the path right on street frag this is incredible I mean it can be really useful on payload and natural game modes to stop the opponent from getting to the bunker well if you want to take Mimi forward and progress onto their side of the map and block them from coming from their spawn area it gives you a huge huge opportunity just to keep picking them off Mimi can fire and so can your cards fire through the real fake wall and if Mimi has a 1.3 headshot multiplier you can't help but understand why so many people have started to use Mimi. Um, it also lets Darius of course slide on so if they're stuck at the barrier they can't really go much further than that. Darius can slide on into the DMs, no sorry not DMs, slide on in with the MVP and really get some more frags and mark him with his ability. Now I mentioned frags and look no further for the attack card in the deck, the Ice Queen herself, Crystal. Now Crystal is one of the amazing cards in the game, of course like with the recent buff, with the recent nerf, with the adjustments, whatever you want to call it. She has infinite ammo which is one of the reasons why she's a great card as well. Right? Straight away she has a 60 meter weapon range, a fire rate of 100 and she instantly has built into her attacks already a 0.9 times slow effect all right she also has a 1.4 multiplier headshot her special which is called and hopefully i pronounce it correctly style active style style tight dive i don't know anyway it's a massive dive that she flies up into the air comes to the ground smashes and deals 141.5 damage and with a push effect now there is a little bit of a, a, a knock-on effect for you but once you get used to this this is a really great ability Crystal is a card though that you do have to be strong and good with headshots. It is for a player who do does do do does enjoy the skill of getting headshots and it is really rewarding to have this glass cannon this ice queen in your deck. Now we need in this deck a camp card and one of the best AI cards in the game is Soldier. Soldier is brilliant all right his special ability ready aim fire only has wait for it, a five second cooldown time it has a hundred meter weapon range and it does 259 to 165 damage to the opponent why is the ai so good with this i have no idea but let's hope that frag don't hear me saying this in the video because it does not need to be touched all right the ai does such a good job or you can use it yourself of course if darius has been fragged but basically it just fires missiles up into the air comes down and slams into the ground and this really does give your team huge support on a scale that i mean only soldier can offer great card great for ai if you're not good with camp cards shove this in your deck and just watch the ai get frags for you and then finally a wild card now i've picked striker because one i've been using him lately and it's hilarious and if you haven't seen monday's don't ruin it channel i'll tell you what watch monday's madness 2 on monday because it's called monday madness you'll see why i've been using striker brilliant card anyway another reason why i've had striker is because i do believe he's darius's husband put in the comments who you believe is darius husband i think it's striker do that for an unveiling on another video but let's talk about why he's good his ability is home run he hits and he yeets the opponent off the side it works in harmony with darius and of course striker is one of the two fastest cards in the game 15.5 kilometers per hour is the exact same as stella they're the two fastest cards for the top tier place and speed it's nice to have that it's a bit annoying for the opponent and striker has a fire rate that varies from 221 to 442 he's a fast frail card but his special gives that little bit of addition that the opponent has to be fearful for and of course once again if you have hit the opponent with darius's special ability they're going to take five seconds longer to respawn they're going to be running away from Darius into the bat of Striker so you can yeet them off the side and get the frags. 
Darius is a sporting legend with a unique and game-changing ability and a match-winning strategy. Just like England in the Euros, fingers crossed, we win. Just like you're going to win, score some goals and frag the opponent with the sporting legend of Darius. So that's everything that you need to know about using Darius in Frag Pro Shooter. Implants, map, teammates, AI, the whole shebang. If you did enjoy, if you did learn something, please leave a comment, like the video, share the channel and subscribe. It really does help us get to 500 subscribers and we can't do it without you. But until next time, enjoy Monday's Madness. My name is Lorty. Here is my cup of tea and I will see you next time.